Stars don't emit a single color and neither does anything. So we're relatively cool objects, right? So we're, uh, so you can look at an object and based on the color of the light it emits, you can tell its temperature. At our temperature, we emit infrared light. That's why, you know, in the military, they wear infrared goggles and now I can see the enemy at night. But it's not a single wavelength. It's a spectrum. And I think this is key for Superman and his powers because his parents say that the yellow star unlocks his powers, but their planet Krypton orbits a red star. Now, two things. Number one, the vast majority of all stars are red because if you look at the populations of objects, whatever they are, rocks, stars, there are many more small ones than there are big ones. Small stars tend to be cool. There's an exception to this. And, and, and small mass stars tend to be small. They tend to be red and cool and last for very long time frames. Like the, there's a type of star known as a red dwarf. Every red dwarf that has ever been born in our galaxy <laughs> for those of you who are listening he said red dwarf and i couldn't help but point to myself because as a 411 redhead that term has uh, perhaps been applied to me sorry there's another type of star that's old called a red giant but we'll we don't have to worry about that here <laughs> 